Hello, I'm Dr. Rohit Virgutia and I work as the medical director for NOAA IVF Fertility in East India and Bangladesh. Reproductive medicine, of which I am part, has seen a lot of changes in the last 20 odd years. From being a very rare commodity, IVF has now become commonplace and a lot of couples are coming forward to use IVF or ART as a means to get pregnancy quicker and safer. So, being in reproductive medicine, I think this is an exciting field. Any couple who has been married for more than a year and trying for a child and finding it difficult to get pregnant can come and see us. They have a lot of options to choose from. They can get pregnant through ovulation induction where we give them medicines to get them to grow their follicles properly and then allow them to be together on particular timelines or they can choose to perform an IUI or intrauterine insemination where after giving medications for follicular growth to the female partner, we take the sperms from the male partner, process it and then put it in the uterus of the female partner at the right time just when she is releasing her egg. An IUI can get us pregnancies to the extent of 10% to 15% per IUI cycle in most of the women who are treated through this method. In case the IUI does not work, the natural induction methods do not work, then we have IVF or ICSI. The method of IVF and ICSI relies on stimulating the women's ovaries, maturing as many eggs as possible, extracting them through her vagina with the help of a needle, fertilizing those eggs in the lab with the man's sperms, forming embryos, growing them in the lab and selecting the best looking embryos to be transferred back to the lady's womb after five days. Believe me, with the option of ovulation induction, IUI and IVF, most couples who seek a pregnancy or a child can get good results these days. I think I am at the right time, at the right place, serving women and couples who are suffering from infertility, trying to help them to get pregnant through the efforts of IVF.